This is how fast things are changing. This is the information age. If you're operating by old ideas, you're obsolete. You begin the game by, you know, identifying your dream. I think that's really where it all starts. In today's economy and where we are today, it's it's not it's not just a dream, it's almost it's more of a necessity. You've got to identify how you're going to survive more than how you're going to just, you know, get something out there that you want. Here I am in New York City, financial capital of the world, surrounded by millions of people, most of whom will spend their entire lives working hard for money, but will have very little to show for it at the end of their lives. How many people are pissed off? I hate being told what to do. You have to fail fast. No one can steal my dream. You can count on the government destroying the dollar. All currencies have eventually gone to zero. You cannot save your way to retirement. If it's too complex for us, what do we have to do with our money? We have to give it to them. It was pure hopelessness. It was just 100% survival. Somebody's buying it. The public isn't buying it yet, but somebody is. How bad do you want it? That's the question. It's time to acquire. An unfair advantage. What is an unfair advantage? What you're about to learn may just change your life. It's showtime, baby. Let's hit it. The greatest opportunity in the history of mankind is here. We're in the greatest economic change in the history of the world. This is going to be the biggest wealth transfer in, in my lifetime. We've got an entire society that has been built up over the years with the idea that financial institutions are a better place to put your money than to take control of your own life. If you have a solid financial education, taxes, debt, inflation, and retirement can make you richer, not poorer. The rich will get richer and the poor and middle class, gone. I was around my brother who was a part of a gang, who ran a gang, and that's a lot like running a business. Most people run from problems and the truth is, that's where the opportunities are. This really is a perfect financial storm. So I am optimistic about the future. It's gonna crash. The next big economic boom will not be from the internet or China or India, but will be from empowering women. A big part of success is failing so many times that you learn and learn and learn your lessons. Uh, Robert says all the time that if you're not being successful, it's because you're not making enough mistakes. People think that cash is like a safe place to be, a place to park your purchasing power. And I think cash is the worst investment that you can have. And if you follow an economist, you're in trouble. Okay, you want to have barely enough income to survive, if you're lucky. Go do 401ks, go do mutual funds, you know, be my guest. This is the best time to talk about this because People have had a shift of context with this economy. To change your financial life also often involves changing your mindset. It really is where it starts, is the attitude, it's the mindset, it's the decision that you're gonna you know, take responsibility for your own financial life. Knowledge is money. Show business. When you think about show business, you always think about the show, right? Cameras and movie stars and makeup and glamour, but you never think about the business side of it because we don't have financial education. And I didn't learn that until 20 years down the road in my career. And now, I'm not only an expert in the show part of it, but I'm becoming an expert on the business side of it. Business is about production. We can produce our way out of any problem. I was probably age eight when I started thinking about millions. The very, very first step is you've got to select your dream because taking control of your financial life starts with a dream. There's got to be a bigger purpose than just making money. If you don't have something that is bigger than you, a dream, a huge dream, you're gonna quit. Your friends and who you hang out with, whether you're a child or whether you're an adult, will dictate your destiny and your future. And so you have to be picky and choose your surroundings very carefully. It's creativity. It's brainstorming. It's being around like-minded people. People have so many emotions attached to money. And it might be because of what, how their parents thought about money or an experience they had around money that, you know, they don't, they think it's evil or they think rich people are bad people and all of this stuff. But if you just break it down, money is just a tool to be used in this world. Everybody today uses money like it or not. The absolutely fastest way 
To put money in your pocket is to reduce your taxes. Gold and silver have been the safe haven asset for every second of the last 5,000 years. My real estate that we own, you know, through depreciation wipes out most of our taxable income. It just makes so much sense to me, you know, and it's so much easier. I went to war to fight for capitalism. I fought for the freedom for a person like me who had nothing to work hard, to use my brains, and to build a better life for myself and many other people. The problem isn't capitalism. The problem is laziness. People who expect something for nothing. The problem is greed. People who take more than they give and the problem is ignorance, an education system that thinks that money is the root of all evil. It's ignorance, it's financial ignorance that has caused so much of this problem, not capitalism. It's not just a dream, it's almost, it's more of a necessity. You've got to identify how you're going to survive.